Hello, Year 9. As you're aware, GCSE Mathematics is a compulsory subject that you'll study um, over the course of Year 10 and Year 11. But I thought I'd spend a few minutes just talking about the reason why we study maths, the benefits of studying maths, and along with um, talking about the specification. So why do we study maths? Um, GCSE maths opens doors for many people. Uh, if you want to do a certain job, you need a good grade in GCSE maths. It will help you in careers such as engineering, business, finance, medicine, science, and a lot more. It'll, maths will also help you improve your earning power. Good math skills help open more career options, which are often better paid. And if you combine the good skills such as teamwork, presentation skills with the good math skills, then you'll be highly sought after by employers. So why do we study maths again? Whether you plan to go on to work, A-levels or equivalent or further studies, a good understanding of maths will be useful to you. Your number skills will come in handy in everyday situations. I uh, learned to think like a mathematician will also improve your problem solving and your decision making skills throughout life. By studying GCSE maths, again, you'll be able to solve maths problems using mathematical strategies, and we will teach you all those skills and the knowledge in order to do so. Again, you'll be able to acquire the right mathematical concepts, methods and strategies, and looking at those real maths concepts, right maths concepts and techniques to deal with real world problems. You'll be taught to reason mathematically, make mathematical decisions, inferences and draw conclusions. Also be able to communicate mathematical facts, data and information after interpreting that information correctly. So the specification that we follow um, at Edinburgh Mortimer College for GCSE Maths is the Pearson Edexcel GCSE Mathematics um, course. And the course code there is 1MA1. The course overview, there are two tiers. There's a higher tier, which is grades 3 to 9, and foundation tier, which you'll be able to achieve grades 1 to 5 on that particular tier. Each tier is three papers with one non-calculated paper and two calculated papers. Each paper individually is 90 minutes long and each paper is worth 80 marks. The combined score for all three papers is used to decide the final overall grade. In terms of GCSE maths, in terms of setting, you'll be set at the start of year 10. Again, that is reviewed regularly. And again, the final decision in terms of your final tier of entry for the end of year 11 will be decided um, midway through year 11. Overview of the course, um, the course will give you a coverage of broader and deeper mathematical content delivered through a single extended GCSE. So some of the skills um, and knowledge you've learned at Key Stage 3, that will be extended and built upon for Key Stage 4. Higher tier will include questions that will stress the most able. The foundation tier will focus on core mathematical understanding and skills for all students to master. There's a huge focus on problem solving along with reasoning. And again, there's some additional requirements to provide clear and mathematical arguments. There are six content areas for each of the tiers, as you can see um, on the screen. So there's number, number, algebra, ratio, proportion, rates of change, geometry, and probability and statistics. As you can see, um, there's a higher percentage for number um, for the foundation tier, 25% compared to 15% in the higher, and then algebra is 30% for the higher compared to 20% in the foundation. The assessment objectives, and again, your teacher will talk a lot to you about this um, throughout the course of year 10 and year 11 for various courses. For mathematics specifically, um, AO1 is to use and apply the standard techniques. AO2 is to reason, interpret and communicate mathematically. And AO3 is solve problems within mathematics and other contexts. And again, you can see the varying percentages um, based on whether it's foundation or higher. There's some examples there of some problem solving um, questions, some past exam type questions there that you can see in terms of what you should be able to answer by the end of the course. At Dillon Waterman College, we do provide and sell some support materials um, and equipment to help you be successful in your GCSEs. We sell the foundation tier and the higher tier workbooks and revision guides, um, which students find quite uh, useful and very popular. And we also sell the scientific calculator, Casio, which we will also need to be successful um, in your studies. And our, my advice would be to um, purchase um, some of these if possible uh, prior to starting the course in year 10, so you can have the huge benefit of using them right throughout the two years. 
I hope this has given you a bit of an insight in terms of the course, um, the demands of the course, the reasoning behind why we study mathematics and the benefits of doing so. Thank you very much.